murdered your dad. No, I did. Yes, you did. Yeah, yes. daddy's dead because of you. Hours of interrogation. Police lying to a suspect in the Inland Empire until he falsely confesses to murder. And now the city of Fontana is paying a massive settlement tonight after police questioned a man for 17 hours until he confessed to killing his father, who's still alive. KCAL News reporter Tom Waite joins us now with what led up to this, this false and really hard to watch confession. It, it was, Pat, and I watched many hours of this intense interrogation, mm. and it really, it, it's very eye-opening. And we'll mm. get to it in just a second here. But the video of the interrogation is fascinating and disturbing. An innocent man spends hours being grilled by police. When it's over, he's in the throes of a full mental breakdown. And under pressure, he lies to detectives about killing his own father. We don't think you're a monster, Thomas. Fontana police detectives grilling Thomas Perez Jr. after Perez Jr. reported his father missing. This interrogation descends into what's being described as psychological torture after the detectives extract a false murder confession from Perez. We just told you we found your dead dad and you don't give a that detective is lying. Perez Sr. was not dead. But in this moment, Fontana detectives don't know where he is. Perez Jr. reported him missing after they had an argument. A search warrant was served at the family home. Perez Sr.'s wallet, cell phone, and even some blood stains were discovered. A canine also alerted to the odor of possible human remains. Detectives unleash an unrelenting interrogation of Perez Jr. You murdered your dad. No, I did. Yes, you did. No. Yeah, yes. daddy's dead because of you. No. Yes, not only that, but poor Morgan here. Margo. Margo. Mar Sorry. Margo had to witness it. Yep. I walked through the blood. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. It is. The psychological effects of hours of grilling take their toll. Detectives keep pushing. Perez spirals further. Eventually, Perez Jr. makes a false confession to killing his father. All this and 71-year-old Perez Sr. was alive. He went to his girlfriend's home but didn't have his cell phone. Perez Jr.'s attorney. The worst act of deliberate cruelty that I've seen suing the police for 40 years. I've, I've been suing the police for 40 years, and I've never seen the cops be that cruel to some. Steering on behalf of Perez Jr. sued Fontana and won a nearly $900,000 settlement. This all unfolded back in 2018, but the case was just finalized. I never thought that it was easy, maybe even possible, to get a completely innocent person confess to something like that. But after... I watched the video and watched the interrogation of Tom Perez. What I divined is, is that they could get you and I to confess to killing Abe Lincoln if they wanted to. It's unbelievable. And they, they're not amateurs, and they know what they're doing, and they know how to do it. Steering says even after detectives learned Perez Sr. was alive, they did not tell Perez Jr. Instead, they had him held for mental distress. Once they learned this, instead of telling him that because of what they did to him, they 5150 him. They place him on a civil protective custody hold, have him taken to the mental hospital, and then they tell the hospital that he's in custody and that he can't have anybody contacting him. We reached out to Fontana police and the city of Fontana before the end of business today for comment, but we did not hear back. So Pat, you saw it there, very intense stuff. Intense and very bizarre actually, Tom. Yeah. And the big, big question, I'm sure everybody wants to know, why did the police do it? Yeah, and you know, the fact that we reached out to them and they didn't respond, but the attorney, you know, telling us that they, they didn't actually, he, he believes, didn't think that, he, didn't know if the guy was dead or not, if, if Thomas Sr. or Perez Sr. was dead. But what they, what they were trying to do is figure out what happened and, and because of the evidence that was in those court documents, perhaps that's why they decided to go down that road because there was some blood evidence found or blood found. I don't know if there was evidence. It was blood that was found in the house mm -hmm. and then the dog that triggered on the odor of the possible human remains. So with all that 
together the, the police officers or detectives then you know believe that this was the the road they wanted to go down but you know just to see him in such duress is very difficult to watch it is and the fact that um, they want a settlement absolutely yeah so. nearly nine hundred thousand right. dollars there you go okay thanks for that Tom thank you